because I have this area uh, fogged. Erlen, you're probably about right here. When you also are tossed from your feet a little bit as the ground shakes. And, uh, well, you guys can't really see it, but this entire... Well, Erlen, you can. So the wall, the actual wall of the keep collapses or is just tossed into the air as this enormous explosion happens. And let me now draw the area that nobody can go because it is gone. <laughs> I should have probably set that charge for like 10 minutes, huh? I shout back to the guy behind us, the, behind me, and I shout, hold your breath, cause some shit's coming. <laughs> 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 He's like, what? And then like this like tidal wave of poop just flows over you guys. <laughs> and it's disgusting. Yep. So Oh man, that explosion includes over here, which is where I was planning on looping back round to. Yeah, you don't know if it uh if it includes that. Okay. So yeah, you, you find like his torch is doused. He's like, what the fuck? And he's like getting his giant axe up and he's like, where are they? Where are they? And he's not sure where to go. And you can see around, but he can't. Okay. I like the the mini looks like he's wearing a helmet. Does he have a helmet on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast light on his helmet for him. Perfect. <laughs> Give me the roll. 11. Nice. So it illuminates the area around. He's like, oh shit, thank you. And he like wipes the shit out of his eyes. Let's loop back around and try, try and see if we can get back out the entrance. If we can't, we might have to jump up the keep and escape through there. He's like, uh, uh, uh okay, okay, sure. Um, so they start looking around, trying to get the fuck out of here. Are you going down? Uh, can we go this way? I can't really see. Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's rubble. There's some rubble there. But, no, actually, yeah, no, that's that's collapsed. Okay. That is collapsed. Yeah, we go down then. Okay. You head down. And that's what you see. Okay. Is this a way in? Or is this just... Um, oh, actually, there? yeah, there, there w actually would be a ladder there. It's kind of bent and fucked up, but yes, there is actually a ladder right there. Okay. Um, Oops, that's not green. I'm just going to basically do what Arlen did, and I'm going to climb up it, and then I'm going to look up the top, just like open the hatch or whatever, and like look around. All right, you, you go, you peek up, you look around, you are actually, well, what you would assume, because you're kind of like almost in a room, a shit house, a shitter area, a uh, tree, if you would say, if you would, inside the keep, but there's no longer a wall on the north side. The wall is gone, and it opens up into this area of utter devastation. The barracks is gone. It is, it is just completely just destroyed. Um, there's debris everywhere, like big pieces of rock, body parts, blood, just everything. Just, you don't see a living thing as you look out of here. Do I see a way out of the keep from up here? Yeah, you could, you could just run across the rubble. There's no more wall. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just shout down to the guy below me. I can't remember his name. In like character, you? I probably wouldn't remember his name, so it's fine. <laughs> And I just shout down to him, like, we can get out this way. And then I come out. Okay, so he goes up <laughs> as well. And as as he comes up, you hear some more sloshing around of these shit-eating shit monsters. Like, deep into the sewers. And you two get the fuck out of here. Wait. You guys end up on top, like, in this utter devastation of Mog's Keep, which is now, like, half-destroyed. Um, and there's, you see a few people like walking around, like missing body parts, screaming, wailing, asking for help. Cleric! 
Um, yeah, but you guys can make a dash out if you so wish. Yeah, it really is like Mission um, Impossible. I mean, not Mission, like, uh... <laughs> like, uh, what's that movie? Saving, saving Private, Private Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, Saving Private Ryan, exactly. It's like the D-Day scene. Mama. Okay, yeah, I ignore them. And you keep running. Okay, you guys get the fuck out of here. Alright, Erlen, you, however, make it back to the sewer entrance and you do not see your companions get out. What do you do? Looking inside, I mean, I see, like, parts of it collapsed or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can definitely see that it has seen worse, worse days. However, the entrance that you went in, it's, it's still intact. It just looks very unstable. Um... I guess I would back. I, I wouldn't want to risk going in there, so I just back up and wait for them there. Okay. Uh, Durden, you and Brecton are like trying to make your way across this field of debris and dead bodies and like hot rock that's been you know heated up by these explosions. And you hear a few like shouts call out, and like an arrow lands near where you're climbing over some of these rocks and helplessly bounces off. Um, so, Did you I got see some guys Erlen firing at you. The moat? Dude, it's dark. You were okay. really far away. Cool. You, you're seeing all these subsequent explosions. There have been yeah. four explosions so far in this area. But, well, I guess I want to see the fifth. <clears throat> the northeast section of this keep is... Gone. Like, three bombs have gone up here. Yeah. So, there's just nothing left. It's just debris. Uh, I'm gonna start bringing the horses towards the keep now that I've counted four or five explosions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start I'm just approaching gonna... the keep with the horses. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep uh, running, and I'm gonna like be constantly looking behind me. And if I see an arrow that's gonna like hit us, mind you, it's dark, so I probably won't. Eh, I have dark vision. You got dark vision. Yeah, if I see an arrow that's like probably gonna hit us, I'm just gonna like hold out my shield, make sure you that it doesn't get, hit him or me. Yeah. You guys get far enough away that, you know, you can easily see the arrows as they come and yeah. knock them aside or block them. You two cool. make it out without suffering any arrow wounds. Space. Uh, let's keep. <laughs> I don't know, like... Hmm. See, I want to say that we go back to the sewer entrance, but I'm not sure that we would know to go back to there. Well, Erlen did never come back. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was probably going like on. bringing the horses near the sewer, whatever, because I thought that that's where they were going to end up out at. So I'd be waiting with horses near there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna go back to the sewer entrance. Okay. You meet up with Erlen. Uh, hey! I, I guess you like sneak up behind me, I like spin around. Like, what? How are you? I point to the entrance. Uh, what What happened? Uh, the uh, the tunnel collapsed, we had to take a detour. Doesn't matter. Do you think we should. Uh, and then I look down the tunnel entrance. Does it look completely like nobody's getting out this way? Uh, it looks very unstable. Okay. Eh. You, you probably know that it's a bad idea to go down there. Never mind. I'm just gonna <laughs> blow up the actual entrance. Make sure that nobody is ever getting out of there. Alright, you said another statue in? Well, well, nah, hold on, hold on. I, I, no, I, no I say... Hold on. I, I'm gonna gale slice down there. Just to try to cut the, the rest of the entrance down so it just collapses. Alright, roll me. Nine. Nice. Yeah. What did, is that, that's a spell, right? You gotta choose something? Yeah. Um, I'm going to put myself in it now. Um, I, I'm gonna do the... the, the I'll, I'll forget shit. it for now. Okay. Uh, the tunnel collapses. Awesome. Oh. Your, your slice of wind, like, slides down the middle of it, cutting along the rock. Yeah, it's enough to destabilize it enough that it falls apart. We should probably meet up with Morik and Bjorn and get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's get our horses. Let's go. Well, I'm bringing the yeah. horses to you guys. I don't know how long that we would take. We have no idea. 
Yeah, so no. we could begin going towards where the horses were stable. Okay. So. Alright, I'll just reveal this whole area for you guys. Because I don't have an actual layer for the um, top of the keep, but I do have all the sewers. Oh, fuck. Cool. So, all of those circled areas are where the keep has just been utterly destroyed. Wow. From the different bombs that have been thrown on it. There, this back, the southeastern corner, is mostly act. And this is where I assume you guys ride by, because uh, most of the attention is on the exploded parts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's still people along the walls, um, like freaking out, barking orders, hiding, you know, whatever. But all four of you meet up. Cool. Uh, let's let's get back to the, uh, the town, I guess. Um, Brechton, uh, Brechton. Brechton speaks. He's like, get back to the town. We have to kill all of them. If we leave any of them here, they'll attack back. They'll strike back against us, and they'll come and burn the town down. I agree with Brechton. Uh, Brechton... We need to recuperate. They won't attack by the uh, by the end of today. If we recuperate, I still have strength. a satchel. We could attack them and blow the shit out of them. Yeah. I mean, I vote. To, I mean, we already made our bed. We might as well. The rest of the saying. Deal with the rest of it. Sleep in it. Yeah. There we go. We might as well uh, finish the job. How, how many do you think there are actually left? He looks up to the wall and he says, Uh, I don't know, 25, 50, perhaps. I don't, I don't know. But Would you be fine they won't just... wait till morning to come kill all of us. Would you fi be fine with just using one last satchel and then getting out? He says, as long as it kills a lot of them. Kind of sigh and look over. Can I channel wind again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I go away from the group for a while, like uh, enough to where they won't be affected if I fail. <laughs> Good fucking okay. call. Yeah. You're the worst <laughs> wizard. Now, who has the bomb though? Uh, he Durden. does. Okay. Durden. I'm not gonna fucking go and do this with the bomb. If I get <laughs> away from the group, Aralyn explodes. We roll new character, Nick. <laughs> yeah. I play as oh. Lily as she got there. Yeah. Okay, so you go off away from the rest of the group. You do your thing. The group's what, what's the group doing while Aerolyn walks off? Uh, hey, where the fuck are you going? I, I, I tell you that, that I'm channeling air, and you've seen what happens when I fail. Uh, wait. Mm, maybe uh, can draw towards opening, so uh, can hit with satchel. <laughs> Back to the group. It didn't work. Wait, can can Bjorn We just noticed shoot an arrow with by the trees attached? that you uprooted and now are flying into the key. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, now they know where we are. So uh, you guys are talking, you know, about the day, about the weather, all the nice things. As there's a, a keep that is on fire, and there's lots of screaming ogres and humans yeah. that are wailing off into the night. Right. A couple fires are spreading at this point. Typical night. Um, maybe could and then shoot. suddenly, oh, sorry. it seems like the wind stops. And then this eerie howl kind of moves through the air. Durden? Oh, hey. Did you fart? Hey, then, sorry, that might be me. <laughs> in the direction that Aralyn walked off, the wind starts to blow towards you guys as it picks up. Uh... It starts to accelerate. Go faster. Go I'm, faster I'm going to yell and follow, faster. and I'm going to start like riding off to the like left. If we're looking at the keep, I'm going to ride to the left away from the keep, or down the keep wall. Carolyn, yeah. around you it is utterly still, and you feel no air. And then you look up, far up into the sky, and you see above you this swirling vortex. It's just this eye of the storm is building, and you see it with perfect clarity. 
and is almost illuminated by these flashes of purple energy that crackle and burst through it as it as it builds in intensity. Everything is still around you. I'm in the eye of the storm, is what you're trying to say? You are um, in the eye of the storm. The rest of your party, the winds are getting incredibly strong. Like, I get all you guys are feeling it press against you. I, I already... Like, okay. I, I yelled follow, and I'm assuming me and Quirk are on the same horse, and I just started riding away, like, oh, down the left side of the keep. Yeah, so. I'm riding with them. If we're down here, the I'm riding, like, left. Dart, when I move, does it seem like it follows with me? Nope. How nope. far away are they from me? Uh, how far away did you go? I mean, it, that really depends. I, I'd go, like, the max distance that I know they would be safe from my... 500 feet. 500 feet? Wow. 500? How far can I blink? It's just within distance, right? Within my uh, vision? Your, your vision. Your dark vision goes, like, 120 feet. Oh, Jesus Christ. I see the, the winds picking up. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, can I... Can I like, spell Lawrence to see what the fuck this is? Did I cast an area of wild <laughs> magic or something? Uh, you did not cast an area of wild magic. It is very strange. You've never seen anything like this ever happen. You fucked up your, your, your wind elemental wind spell cast before. Yeah. Nothing like this has ever happened. However, you look up at this purple energy that is crackling through the storm, and you get a sense of odd familiarity. You cannot place it. But you feel that you know what it is. What do I feel that it is? Familiarity. It, it just feels familiar. It's like does deja vu. It, does, it, does it feel safe to stay where I am, or does it... No! <laughs> you were underneath a hurricane! <laughs> <laughs> I guess... Like in the in the screaming winds, I just shout to Jordan and uh, Bjorn, "God damn wizards!" Who uh, still has this? Who still has Fuck. satchels? Fuck your blink! All right, I, I blink and I fail. I roll a six. Who Durden still has does. satchels? Durden does. Durden does. Have a satchel? There should be two satchels left. No, there's no because we used five. five. I, I yeah. Oh, you guys used five? Where'd the fifth one get used? He have, used three, I, have, I used one, and then Durden used Durden one to, to destroy one. part of the fucking... Oh, yeah, thing. okay, okay, yeah. so there's just another one in that area. You guys oh. doubled, you guys, like, tripled up on one. No, I guess just doubled up on one area. Yeah. Okay. God, fuck. <laughs> okay, so, Nick, you tr Erlen, you try and do your blink, yeah. and your vision goes dark. 200 feet up. Um, my vision goes dark. Like, did I blink somewhere or do I pass out? You, you blink somewhere and then you fell so far you knocked yourself unconscious. No, you, no, you physically blinked. You have to okay, so I'm unconscious. <laughs> is what you're, you're unconscious. <laughs> Scott got it. I like that. I like that. That was fucking brilliant. I completely All missed right. it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, Corey well, told a dark, really good joke. Dark, you, you said you, you, like, you blink. You use the spell and then you see darkness and then you took it as like you went unconscious. I was like, no, you physically blink. You have to open your eyes to see. <laughs> 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 I just got the giggles now. So you guys start riding away. Erilyn has not returned. Uh, she well, took her back. horse, didn't she? So. No. No, I, I left that horse away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coach X is still with you guys. I look back. Do I see her? No. And as you guys start to ride away, you start to feel like some part of you is being ripped from you. I get fucked. Fuck okay. it. I, I, I flip around following instincts. All right, roll me wisdom. Get nauseous. At a minus one for the hurricane that is now roaring around you guys. Nope. <laughs> okay. If so I had my regular plus going... two modifier. Wait, it, it, does this Bjorn count like... as like a forested area? Uh, no. Oh. Bjorn licks his finger, puts it up to the wind, feels that there's a hurricane around him, and says that way. And he rides off in the direction he believes Erlen to be. As he does, though, a tree uproots and falls towards him, just knocking him off of his horse. He just completely did not see it, as he was so sure that Erlen was this way, and he had to get to her super quickly. He is unseated, and Pebbles just fucking bolts. 
Uh, Torix on pebbles. I'm on pebbles. You are fucking going off on a, with a wild horse that is terrified. <sighs> terrified. And you're just... The horse is running. And you're just, you're just looking around. What do you do, Cork? I, I have Jorn is gone. I Jorn was there one gear. second ago. He is no longer there. I, I have my adventuring gear. I'm going to say I have a grappling hook. And like okay. some rope. Alright, two uses and... of your adventuring gear. Oh, is that not the same thing? It's, oh shit, that's A grappling hook is not the same thing as a rope. Oh, it's like attached, it's <laughs> one thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this grappling hook. I was just going to like anchor the horse. Okay, you're gonna try and anchor the horse. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I think, um, like, this is going really quick, isn't it? You pull out a grappling hook, and you look at it like, what a dumb idea, and just yeah, pull it back in. That's exactly what I say. I mean, I was just gonna hop off, but like, do I think I could, like, tumble? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could jump off. Yeah, yeah I'll just put that grappling hook back and be like, that was really stupid. It is, it is pitch darkness around you right now. There's a little bit of light coming from the burning keep. But it's not illuminating much. You do not have dark vision. He has low light I vision, have low though. Light. This is true, but all of the moonlight has been obscured by the hurricane that is now above you. Nick, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nick just <laughs> fucked us so Everything was going perfect, fine. Then Nick's like, I channel air! Double one! Look, gonna, I, was the, I was the only one that can get that satchel across the lake. I mean, I'm I could have probably angel. shot it with an arrow across. Children, children, just saying. You, you may you die, die, so I let die. actions be done. Yeah. 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 Look, Cork's gonna go back to the old faithful. I'm gonna sing a horse. I'm gonna sing a song to this horse. Try and okay. call it down. Give me a charisma. Oh, here we go, fellas. Let the force be with me. Ah! You calm pebbles. Pebbles, calm your shit. Don't sound so happy about it, D'Artagnan. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna spin oh. Pebbles around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like tap Pebbles on the flanks and just like try and guide him to where uh, Bjorn was uh, dropped off. Okay. You, you move around. Uh, Bjorn, roll me a, uh, roll me a d10. Uh, d10. Bjorn, you only take two damage. And does it go through armor? Uh, as like, does it go Cork, through armor? I assume you. Yes, it ignores armor. Oh, it's a okay. fucking tree that hits you in the <laughs> face. I just had to ask. Um, alright, so, Cork, you, you circle around. Durden, what are you doing? Fucking Bjorn took off, heated by his horse. There's a hurricane raging around you. Every now and then, a flash of purple lightning will streak through the air and make this incredibly loud just crack. I'm gonna say that I didn't see Bjorn fall uh, to preserve my own life, and I'm riding. <laughs> <laughs> so you are riding, and you feel some essence of you pull you back. And you feel if you continue on, you may lose your memories. Well, okay, you and then I myself? turn and then see that they've fallen, and then, like, say, oh, shit. And then I turn <laughs> back. But, like, I'm, Rek- I'm, I'm, I'm singing a song, waving my hands, like, hey, Durden. Rekton's like, fuck you, assholes, and he takes off. Bye. I do not blame him. <laughs> Yeah, Rickton. I, like, look back. I don't shout, but I'm, like, gesturing for him to, like, run. For- oh, for Breck? He's got a- he's on a horse. Well, ride. Yeah, he's- like, he's I'm, right. He's, I'm shooing him away. Yeah, he's Life. gone. Brecton is gone. Uh, like, his eyes are white as saucers. He's sweating bullets. You've never seen a man <laughs> of his stature so afraid as this plan went to shit so quickly. Yeah, I just wait. Or them to get back on their horse. Okay, so is the tree you, like, on top of them. me, or did it just unseat me? It just, I just knocked you off. Oh, okay. Um, Cork, you come back. You find Bjorn. You wake him up. Uh, the winds are whipping around you guys at probably a hundred miles per hour at this point, and can the we, storm seems to be building in intensity. Can we just like uh, lay the horses down and just sort of take cover under, like behind them? Uh, you could try. Oh. Uh, as, like as Korik asked this, I say, um, as he's after he woke me up, of course, I say, uh, should we tree not safe, tree fly through air, not safe, stay, us clearing, should we, get should we go, clearing. should we go full style walls and just like cut them open and live inside them for a week? <laughs> if we're not cold. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I, I hop Just back on my horse and ride towards where Erlin like walked off into the woods. Oh my god. Why? What? One second. <laughs> Jeez. You know what, Nick? You know what I did during this whole assault? Mm -hmm. I stayed in the woods and just chilled out. There you go, now it's your time to shine. You Which spell what? my hurricane. <laughs> oh, sorry, let me pull open my spell book because I'm a bard. Oh, uh, look, I have a dispel hurricane. Uh, it's actually a cantrip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I cast a hurricane. I, <laughs> I, I can, like, dispel enchantments from your brain. Awesome. <laughs> That's all I got. I can heal you. Please do this. Right. Somehow, someone tells me I'm a little hurt. Perfect. So, you. Everyone starts to help to try and find Aerial. No, that's where I'm going. I don't know if anyone follows. Okay. I mean, Corey kind of suits that over follows. I'd be, yeah, I'd be going then. Well, I'd have to. Yeah. And I assume you guys are taking Aerial's horse. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys head off to go find Aerial. You head off in the direction. You can kind of get a sense, like, the, the uneasiness uh, lessens a bit as you get closer. And you do find the eye of this storm, where it's all calm, and it's like a nice little refuge from the terrible wind that was assaulting you before. Are there any like animals nice little... around us in this eye? Dude, they have all left so fast. Well, I mean, animals usually flock to the eye of the storm, right? Not these animals. Okay. Not this storm. Like, as you guys were riding here, animals were going the other way. Um, as we were riding, if I could get so, one to stop, I would ask if they've seen a uh, fully cloaked figure anywhere. Dude, they're not talking to you. They're leaving. Cool. Like, the wind is moving over 100 miles per hour past you. Yeah. Like, birds are getting tossed around. Animals are getting killed by the strength of this wind. Okay. Yeah, and it, it's just building. It's just getting worse. Like trees are falling down around you guys. I mean, it's it's terrible. Like the the forest is starting to just just fall apart as okay. these lightning strikes are hitting here and there. Um, and uh, it's starting to rain. It just seems like the weather has just gone absolutely fucking bonkers. And I... you guys find the eye of the storm, but no Aralyn is to be found. I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to cast Guidance, and I'm going to ask Sundarine what direction is Aralyn? <laughs> With 13. <laughs> oh shit. So let me read Guidance real quick. So what direction Sundarine wants to go? I don't think there's a specific direction. Well, Sundarine is intelligent enough to know that Durden cannot continue without Aralyn. Symbol of your deity appears before you and gestures towards the direction or course of action your deity would have you take, then disappears. It's true only. This communication is through gesture only. So you see before you in the eye of this storm a large monolith of salt appears. And as you look upon it, you feel uneasy in it. Of pure salt. Solid salt. It sits. And that is okay. all that happens. I go in the direction of the salt. You go touch it? Yeah. Do you lick it? <laughs> sure. You lick the salt. And as you lick it, you get this feeling that Erlin is no longer within the eye of the storm. That is the guidance that Sunderun gives you. Pretty fucking helpful there. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting high off salt, tripping on all sorts of whatnot. I <laughs> just turn around, like, eh, I think Sunderun's asleep or something. <laughs> I core glass, that's hilarious. No, she's uh, she's out the she's out the eye somewhere. Uh, the the, the space I, of this eye of the storm is pretty big. Oh. Like, oh can great. I play I don't know, like can I magically play like a really loud sound? 
Yeah, but it probably won't won't lift over the hurricane. I mean, whatever helps. I'm gonna start yeah, looking go around for it, the uh, like ground on the eye of the storm and try to find like tracks of Erlen, if that's possible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you find some tracks and then they abruptly end. Which way were they facing? Back towards the keep. Okay. Felix jumps down. Okay. And starts looking around and sniffing and looks up at you with like eyes super wide in fear and Felix is like, can we please leave? I want to leave. We can't I don't like leave. it here. We can't leave without it's dangerous. Erlen. Bjorn, it's really dangerous. I'm going to leave. We're, we're in the eye of the storm. We're fine here. We just have to find Erlen. If we leave now... Bjorn, we will Bjorn we're not fine memory. here. We are not it's safe. Eye of the storm. It's safe. Bjorn, we are not safe. He starts to leave. All right, meet me back in town, if you will, if you are going to leave. That's if you wish to continue. He looks, he looks over at you and says, come with me. I can't. Right out with me. Come with me. I can't. Oh. There's dark like, magic down in sad. the place, and if I go with you, I'll lose my memory. Why? Why not? Why can't come? I just said, so. <laughs> All those reasons. Explain the memory thing. Yeah, I explain the memory thing to the bobcat. Explain the memory thing to the bobcat. I did. I said there's a dark magic in place, and if I leave, I will lose my memory. Okay, <laughs> the bobcat doesn't really understand much of that. Yeah. And the bobcat starts to leave. Like looking over its shoulder at you. <laughs> Why am I seeing Jurassic Park? <laughs> it was kind of oh, sad. Like, yeah. like, it was like a like really slowed down seconds. version too. It's like. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> okay, so Felix jumps off into the brush. Yeah. Fucking Do you see what you do? The, the only animal Come companion on. I had leaves. Nick. Let me let me just chill. You guys should have uh, been on my side for leaving instead of blowing up this shit. Because <laughs> I wanted to leave. This is what ended up happened. All right. So what's 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 going on? What are you guys doing? I'm gonna start heading in the direction of her footprints. I guess. I mean, I've seen her blink around. The, okay. Before, so right? the direction of the footprints goes back to the key. And we didn't see her when we were riding this way. She blinked. Yes, I realize this, but we didn't see her. So no, you didn't okay. see her on the right on the right over. Cool. Great. It doesn't doesn't Felix have a, a nose? Yes, and but uh, Bjorn did not out. convince Felix to find Erlen, so Felix is gone. Yeah, Felix is Peace gone. Peace out, Felix. Guys. Felix doesn't know that dark energy means go find Erlen. Well, yeah. I was trying to get him to stay before I was like, go find that person I don't like. Oh, I know. I didn't uh, I'll, I'll go to Kojax, and uh, I'll say, uh, can you find her? Can you find Erlen? Kojax looks at you with his soulless eyes. Mm -hmm. He's looking at you, and he blinks a few times. Still silent. And suddenly Kojax looks over to the left. The trees are all just going nuts. There's a heavy wind around. The eye of the storm seems to be passing over you guys. And then out of this bush jumps this Start. enormous wolf with a head full of antlers. Start. 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 Finally. Yeah, no, that's, Finally. That's what the wolf says. <laughs> oh, God. Go. It's your fucking wolf, man. It's your fucking wolf. It's your fucking and Ishra wall. strides into view and looks over at you, Bjorn, and you feel a telepathic presence in your mind. And says, what is on? What what is on? Because you lagged a little bit. Did you did you mean what is going on? Yeah, what is going on? God, this if this was only an hour in, this would be the perfect cliffhanger moment. Yeah, yeah. But I thought not. you said like, what is it up? Like the wolf just strides out of nowhere. Hey, it's like, what's, what's up? up? 
I run no, over. she just asks you very calmly as she looks over at you and says, what oh, is going God, on? God, she's about to get the hug of a life. I run over, hug Ishra, and say, I have no idea, but I can't leave without finding a, a, a fairy, because she explained what she was. A fairy, a lady. Uh, or I will lose my memory Bjorn, again. Bjorn, like, power slides on his knees as he wraps his arms around this gigantic chest that this big wolf has. And Durden, Cork, as you look upon this creature, you see unfathomable intelligence behind this wolf's eyes. He looks and scans through the area. What do you do? I look at uh, Bjorn. Is this your wolf friend? I say in a dwarf accent. Is this your wolf friend? I nod. This is Ishra. I, uh... I do that, she got like, a big nose. Though. Can she smell her Yeah, there you go. I mean, I already tried to ask. So I don't... She looks, no. she scans, and she looks, and she says, Bjorn, get on my back. Are we going to find Aaron? Ishra this is all telepathic, starts right? to. Yeah, this is tele- yeah. That. they don't hear anything. You get on Ishra's back, and she starts to uh, quickly stride over to the edge of this clearing. Dirt and Cork. This wolf moves with an unnatural elegance as it like almost glides through the air. And you see its horns start to glow almost as this energy begins to pulse through them. And the hurricane above you seems to dim in power and the winds slow. This wolf jumps over a bush into the thicket and then deftly goes up a tree. Erlen, you awaken as you feel these enormous jaws kind of close around your neck, and you feel yourself get lifted up. And you know that if this creature wanted you dead, you would be dead. Um. And it slips and you die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I, I'd look around. Just uh, in this situation, I'd just be very, very, very still. Yes. It climbs down off of the tree, and you are released. I guess I'd I fall. feel in your mind. Ishra says, "Now, can we leave these uh, yes, but companions of yours? These companions need to follow, uh, of course." I, I guess I'd like drop to my knees, turn around, and like my eyes widen. How bad are my clothes torn? Or I guess Pr- pretty bad. You, you kind of felt a rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'd, I'd stumble away from this and see Bjorn on the back. Make the connection of who she is. She like looks to you, and you you feel a kindness in these eyes. But they move over as she turns her head and then, like, nods to you as she starts to to move off quickly through the woods, back to your horses. I I follow. The hurricane seems to be dying down as whatever foul energy seems to have uh, created it is dissipating. However, the forest is still in utter, like, you know, fucking disarray. There's trees down all over the place. It's just, I mean, it's, it's bad. But Ishra looks to the, the group, and around her, there, it seems that everything kind of stills. Or that just being near her calms the wild. And she leads the group out of this nightmare and back towards Long Saddle. I assume that's where Bjorn tells her to go. Mm-hmm. Um, Hooray! I, I guess dur- during this time when we get out of the the wind, um, what what the fuck happened? What what was that? I asked Ishra more than anyone else. Ishra looks over up to you. Have any of you seen Princess Mononoke? Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so you know in Princess Mononoke, when the wolf god talks, you know, her mouth moves in, like, a very, uh, like, wolfish way, but she still speaks Storm. perfectly clearly? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happens right here when Ishra talks. That's fucking terrifying. And so this, like, this, like, very strong, slightly feminine, but, like, you know, deep voice emanates from this creature. And she says... The four of you seem to be corrupted by some foul manifestation of the weave. Sounds right. I frown on Whatever it was, thank you for, for helping. She nods and she looks at you carefully. And she says, Bjorn. What has happened? You've been gone for so long, and I have only just found you. What do you remember? As Kenneth drops from the call. He's getting uh, food. Damn it, I wish I would have stayed in the call, because now I have to redo everything. But, uh, I say, um... The first thing I remember is, uh... <clears throat> waking up and being ushered into a a uh, sorry, trying to do expert stuff at the same time. First thing I remember is waking up and being ushered into a room where I met this halfling and uh, Erilyn. She looks to Erilyn. What is going on? Why did you meet my son? Um, what fate has brought you all together? Well, the last thing I remembered was being on a farm, and I've recently been getting very weird dreams. Last thing I remembered was a chain or some something. Um, I, I don't know much more than him. I had my own purpose before this, and then I missed uh, about a year of my life and ended up in the same chapel. We've all been commissioned by some whack job god to do some whack job mission. Basically. <laughs> and then I shrug. There's a orb that has caused this, and we have been tasked with finding it. I see. And those ogres, did they have it? No, that that kind of got out of hand. Um, we initially were just going to find a few, or a girl's uh, brother that um, went missing a month ago. And we realized that these ogres um, were working with a house, a noble house in a small hamlet. And they have been raiding caravans. We believe it's under the... Uh, the money or the power of one of the houses there that are using this um, this to up their own monetary value. So we went and I guess try to deal with them. I, I look back there's always like a very sorrowful look in my eyes as I say this as we have just killed like a couple hundred people and I say it got out of hand. I didn't. She looks back. You know, you guys are all riding, like s slowly at this point. You know, making your way back from this from this night. She says, "Human politics. I tried to spare you from such a thing, Bjorn. However, it seems that it has found you anyway." A shame. I'm a great shame. Sitting there fucking hugging the wolf as we're riding because goddamn it's been too long. <laughs> Super excited. So, what is next? Can we... Well, it seems that there is much for you to catch me up on, Bjorn. You seem... different. 
than the last we met. Um, well, we need to make our way back to the... Or is this telepathic between us? Well, I guess, the, I, guess, I guess the telling Bjorn something's different would be telepathic. But uh, Bjorn, you notice that there is like a satchel bag that's across Ishra's back. And in one of the bags, you see your deer skull helmet. Uh, I go and <laughs> grab it because finally, finally everything is back in place. Uh. Not really, your memories are still gone. Anyways, um, <laughs> well, I would just say that we need to go back to this town to report what we have seen that the blue sigil is destroyed. Um, and that I have a deal with the, the wizard that would allow me to look upon his uh, spell book. Or I need to talk to him privately. I see. Well, I have no interest in going into a human settlement. I will wait for you on the outskirts. Do you by any chance have a way to conceal my identity? You wish for me to conceal your identity? I nod. If only for a small, sh short amount of time that would let me enter the town. If you give me some time, this could be done. I know. She, uh, you know, pulls off to a side and to some, uh, place, you know, there's some trees, there's some cover, and she, you know, like, gets down to rest for an hour. <laughs> I do so as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I totally grab the skull and put it on. Yeah. So, I think we agreed your skull allowed you to um, weak empathic abilities. See. What yeah, I yeah, weak empathic abilities. So, um, instead of describing what you see for the characters, the characters can tell you what they look like. Um, I like to usually do it in colors, but you guys can do it however you want. If just it's a feeling or if it's a sense or something, but Bjorn has a, uh, a helmet, a, a deer skull that allows him to get a, a very minor sense of people's emotions, like surface emotions. So... If you're curious about party members, you'll have to ask them. Yeah. Because I won't speak for them. I'll be right back, though. Oh. If, uh, if, if law sensing... was an emotion, you would see it. <laughs> I mean, you sense an extreme amount of hungry and the color pink. Cool. That's, that's me. 24-7. Mm-hmm. Did you guys even notice I was gone? No, I didn't. Yeah, we noticed. Because you fucked up my <laughs> overlay, and then I fixed it, and then you fucked it up again, so. I fixed it again. Love you. Your love is a lie. <laughs> no, it's not. You can sense it. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I miss. I have my wolf now, and it's awesome, and that's about all you missed. Oh, well, I got that part, so I didn't miss anything, I don't think. Nick, why do you look so sad? What? I'm not. Because he fucked everything up? I mean, what? Yeah. What the fuck, Nick? Give me a smile. There you go. I, I didn't fuck anything up. Um, I wanted to what? leave, and you guys really wanted to stay. What if so the bobcat is Ishra, and the bobcat left, and then transformed, and then come back? <laughs> Dude, I'm so I'm so <laughs> sad you let that bobcat go. I felt bad for it. You wanted you to go with it, and you're like, no. Yeah, this is what happens when you double one some rolls, Nick. You well, no, you should have RP'd with it. RP'd with it rather than just one line, man. That was good enough. Everything, Nick. You could have kept it. It was so easy to keep it to stay. <laughs> Look, you just Nick. let it go. You gave don't up. Don't, up don't tell me how to cat. play my character, Nick. You gave up on the cat. Oh, son. <sighs> Leave a group for five minutes and they start bickering. Blame yeah. Nick. He brought it up. Yeah. I think you brought the, it up. The Jurassic Park. <laughs> You're like, you fucked everything up by rolling double ones. 
your fault. It's a, it's our fault because we summoned I'll be the hurricane. Oh wait, I'll I don't summon the hurricane. Uh, I'll be the adult here. I ripped some trees out. The hurricane was not it's my It's whatever, fault. Nick. Don't worry about it. The hurricane was something else entirely. I highly doubt that was mine. My doing with my double ones. So, Nick, yeah. Aaron, you feel a presence enter your mind as you two are meditating. And... You get the distinct feeling that this will not break your meditation. And you hear Isha's mind speak to you. And she says... What did you do to cause it, that actually. storm? As a plane flies overhead. Yeah. I don't it's, believe that it was me that caused it, was it? I have the ability to channel the airs around me, but I don't have anywhere an power enough to actually summon something of that magnitude. Very strange. I've lost control of my magic before, but it has never been something like that. There is an aura that surrounds you four. There is some taint that has befallen you all. I do not know the origins of this. I have never seen such a thing before in all of my years traveling the plains of this existence. But I know this to be true, and I know this for certain. The energy that spawned that storm came from you. There is a darkness that is brewing in you and your companions. And if you are not careful, it will consume you all. You seem that you are well traveled if you have went through planes. I did not finish my complete training with the sword mage I was wa wandering with. His, he went by the name of Walter. You mean William? Sorry, William. God, <laughs> um, he went by the name of William. Uh, Did he have a last name? You never gave me a last Like, you made the name, right? Oh, I gave uh, it to you. Get wrecked, Nick. Take better notes. <laughs> no, no, you didn't give me a last name. I'll find it. We won't it's, it's probably not in these notes, but it's probably in my other notes. Okay, we did not. Um... William Knightley. Anyway, it does it doesn't matter. She wouldn't know who he is. Okay. Um Anyway, I did not finish my trainings. So, uh, although I did not think that I could summon something it, if I I can't really function too well if I can't cast my spells. It seems what? that I need help with the control if this was in fact my fault. When was the last time that you saw such effects from an ill-practiced maneuver of yours? An effect on this magnitude? This oh, an effect of any. When I first awoke in, in the temple, I tried to use a clairvoyance spell um, to find my sister, and it failed in a way that has never happened before. Later on, when we were traveling, I tried to detect the thoughts of a mayor, and there was resistance, which was very weird. Later on, um, I went to this cove with the rest, and when I cast the same spell, I passed. when I was passed out, I f felt an familiar safe place. But thinking back on it, it was the opposite. It it seemed like a place where uh, demons might uh, might meet. 
but it felt very comforting for the short time that I was uh, asleep. Um, afterwards, I don't believe I've had many issues, although I have tried to limit my uses of my natural abilities. I see. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. Don't do anything different. If such an effect were to happen again, I will quell it before it gets too out of hand. two people physically talking. Yeah, but this way you don't have to convince yourself you didn't hear something. Okay. I thank her then. Cool. You see a wave of salt. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, after they're done communing, can we just, like, do I have to explain the whole story again? Like I did earlier, or can I mean, just kind of skip over that. And we can we can say that happens off camera. Cool. We can say that happens off camera. Thank you. Um, I'm because who she is. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I, I inform her of the Thrax in Spain and what is happening in the countryside to her during this commune as well. Okay. She is uh, very troubled by this, mm -hmm. but she doesn't let it show. Okay. Cool. Um, if there, unless there's anything else, we finish communing then. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna grab. Actually, I'm gonna grab heal this time. I'm not gonna do dispel magic. Just heal, and then the other ones remain the same. You guys have been up for a very long time at this point. You guys going to get any sleep before you go in, or are you guys going to just head into town? Um, we've been up for 24 hours. Yep. Oh, and uh, these have been 24 very uh, adventurous hours. No, did not for me. Did, 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 did Ishra give me uh, the disguise? Yeah, sure. How do you want to look? Um... Well, what is this? Can I transfer like my entire race? It's an alter self kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, mask, okay. mask the. You can you can make yourself look like a human or something. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make myself look like a human, and or or an elf. An elf would probably be easier. I'm gonna go with human uh, here, um, and then I'm going to uh, put on like whatever you know rags I still have from the the thing. Um, mm -hmm. Just so that if they unmask me, it doesn't look like I have anything to hide. Yeah, I'm just very self-conscious. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I would want to go to the Mage Tower first. Okay. Uh, wherever anyone else goes. What Everybody time is else? It when we get back? Um, it's like maybe an hour before dawn. Okay. All right. I guess well, we get time for it. So it's starting. The world's starting to light up. Yeah, I would. Probably find a place to take a nap. Maybe on Ishra's back or something. I don't know. Yep. You find Felix waiting for you in the outskirts of town. Okay. There's a couple field mice. Awesome. Oh, well, Ishra's not going into town, so... Mm -mm. Mm. No, Ishra's staying on the outskirts. I guess I won't. I won't find a place to nap. I'll just follow Nick. And I found Felix. Fuck yeah. Animal Master. Compendium class incoming. <laughs> and uh, Durden, Cork. I am going to find the a tavern and sleep. I, I tell one of them to go and find uh, if um, our friend ever arrived back. Uh, where the fuck? Uh, That's Brickton. the point. Yeah, I'll go to Brickton's house. Yeah, you don't actually need to sleep. Don't forget. Yeah, but but yeah, these have been still arduous nice. hours. Yeah, yeah, sleep is still nice. All right. Yeah. 
quarter you will find the links. whole time in the saddlebags throughout like all that time. Yeah. So. He's perfectly it's true. fine. I, I uh I slept through half that siege. I uh, mm -hmm. slept on the way home. I have like a bed in the saddlebag. Okay. Um okay. Sure. Uh Durden, you go by the Felderin family home. Uh, you knock on it. Uh, one of the help answers again and says that they will go get Brechton. Brechton shows up. He's like, Oh, I did not expect to see you alive again, Master Dwarf. Yeah, we're all fine. You, uh, you get out fine? Yes, I did. Yeah, Although my friend. I was a little worried wanted... about that st storm. Yeah, my friend just went a bit mad with the magic accidentally. Don't worry about that. My God. <laughs> it's like, oh, your friend caused that? Eh, uh, accidentally. Accident. Well, I'm glad it went away. <laughs> just think of it as like a siege weapon against the fort. That's true. I did get a look up at, at the fort as I left. It seemed pretty utterly destroyed. Yeah, we did some fine mighty work with that. Indeed you did. You will have my voice at the meeting today. I will Excellent. speak of your good deeds. Well, as long as you're all right, that's what I just came around to check on. Nods. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do in this meantime. I'm going mm -hmm. to go to the gay bar and tell uh, exploits of how I, I wrecked an entire keep. Nice. You're going to the gay bar? Yeah, what fuzzy is it called? The fuzzy, staff. uh... The yeah, there it is. Because there actually is a gay bar in town. I'll go there later. <laughs> it's called the Rolling Wheel. Is that... That's not a really gay name. <laughs> I, would, I would call it, like, the the big Warhammer or something. What do you expect? Something gayer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Rolling... Whatever, man. You don't know good names for bars. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So you just go up to the, the fuzzy quarterstaff at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and start singing of exploits? I mean, is there like drunk people around? No. <laughs> oh. Is I there... mean, maybe a few, but like everyone's yeah, going to sleep a, at this point. A it's a few farming is good town. enough. It's a farming town. Okay, there are two drunk people. All right, I'm just going to like, if they're at this, are they at the same table? Sure. I'm going to stand on their table and just start shouting on, just like... Guys, you are not going to believe the tale I have to tell. Gather around and open your ears. And uh, I tell them on how we, me and my uh, very small and insignificant compatriots, uh, marched on a uh, very well-guarded keep um, manned with ogres and dragons. And uh, with one wave of my hand, I summoned a uh, great storm of wind and fire and laid low the keep. And, uh, all before lunch. <laughs> Roll me a charisma. <laughs> it, was the ending, but it was the ending that made it. <laughs> ah, seven. Seven. One away oh, from Before family. lunch. <laughs> one away from, so, like, they kind of, like, look up at you, and you see one of them's kind of, like, tapping his foot to your beat and liking it. But the other one just has this really just sickly look on his face. And like looks up at you and you say, all before lunch. And then as soon as you say lunch, he just pukes all over your feet. No, the uh. squirrel pants cleaning part two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I the... laugh and then I hit him in the head with my mandolin. <laughs> you hear the bartender clapping. Shut up. That's my morning. Okay. Top of that. Really Barely, like you're that going idea. to the, the Ivy Mansion? Mm hmm Okay. Um, you are showing up to Ardenex room. Okay. Uh, I enter. Or I um, knock, rather. Yeah, yeah the, the door once again opens on its own. Okay. You walk in, and he looks over at you and says, And uh, who might you be? Met earlier. Uh, wearing a disguise. Mm, what's your name? Marilyn? You have the ability to change your 
appearance. There has to be some uh, mystery on both sides. Hmm. Yes, yes, Does yes. that uh, make you a deal? You you give me an honest answer uh, to some of my questions. I'll give you the same return. How about but, we get you some proper clothes first? Ones that uh, cover me fully. The, the ones that I usually wear will suffice. He gets you some robes. Okay. Um. I, I sit down. He pours you some wine. I accept. Ooh. Early in the morning, too. Early morning wine. He says, what questions did you have? I take it that Mog's keep is gone? Destroyed. And the satchels, they proved useful? We have one left. Ah, you have one left. Well, then, I can see you are in no need of it. If it's not on me, it is on Jordan. Ah, I see. Well, no matter, then. What questions did you have? The, uh... Your order here. Um, how far does it stretch? The Harpel family influence? Yes. It stretches as far as that invisible fence. And you would believe, make me believe that uh, that is as far as it goes? Well, that is as far as we take it. We have many associates in the region, many friends in powerful places who enjoy the Harpel hospitality and Sometimes we work together in mutual interests, although it has been many years since such a collaboration existed. We... Hmm. If you would provide me with names or at least introduction to, to these men, I would greatly appreciate it. And if in the future you have need of some powerful people, May call upon me. And I will send Gurdon. <laughs> so eager, so full of life. I enjoy your company, Erlen. In fact, there is a member of the Harpers taking residence here in the mansion. I could arrange a meeting for you two. Um, member of the Harpers? The Harpers. I love the Harpers. What are their Harpers? Do I know? You don't know any other Harpers. But, but do I know what they are? Oh, yeah, you know what the Harpers are. What are the Harpers? Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Oh, so I, I don't know off the, the top of my head. They're like the super badass guys. Yeah, they're yeah. like the, the secret agent uh, service for the good guys. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so the Harpers are a semi secret organization dedicated to promoting good, preserving history and maintaining a balance between civilization and nature by keeping kingdoms small and the destruction of plant life to a minimum. They're all about elves. Yep. I love them. Can I join? Oh, sorry, I'm off getting drunk. Awesome. <laughs> so so everything that I have would fit in with that since I uh, followed the, the deity. Um, or that i got to make a Harper, prestige, a Harper Compendium class now if anybody actually did want to join the Harpers. Oh, I, I totes do. Uh, does, does my character know this, by the way, or is, since it's a secret order? I mean, like, you've heard rumors of the Harpers before. I mean, given the people that you've worked with, you would know about the Harpers. I raise an eyebrow. The, uh... What is the member's name that is here? I would like to meet them. Uh... His name is Sir Longshanks, and uh, he is a traveling knight who has a strong relationship with some of the Harper factions that operate along the Sword Coast, and he would deny the fact that he is in fact a Harper, but it is of little secret. Of little secret, but it is an insignificant secret, is what I should say. Well, you answer one of my questions, I guess you can pose uh, something of me, and I will answer you truthfully. There was a tear in the weave 
that happened tonight. Do you know anything of it? Yes. Um, when I channeled my powers, it summoned something much more devastating than what I was intending. And it leveled the keep. You caused this? I not. Now, isn't that interesting? I haven't seen... I have never seen uh, an event such as that before. I have only read about it. Seems Tones like, long forgotten. It seems like this type of stuff is re-emerging recently. Long forgotten magics that should be dead to the to the ages. And it seems to be happening around me and my companions. Perhaps. Now oh, then I must ask. I see no spell book upon you, and yet you seem to wield an incredible amount of power. What are you? Other than a fairy, of course. I follow the teachings of the spell swords. An ancient order that has been lost. I am familiar. I had a feeling, but... say I didn't want to jump to conclusions. I was assigned someone that would teach me the, the arts by a man from Candlekeep long ago. I... Hmm. What business did you have in Candlekeep? You seem to be asking me a slew of questions. Oh, you I did say you. I could, uh, you could, uh, mm. a one for one. It seems you are correct. A touchy subject, I see. I will not ask about it again. Well, he asked me how many questions already. He asked me one. Huh? No. He asked you two. Yeah, he asked me two. Mm -hmm. So I get two back. Which I really need to think of what questions I'm actually going to post to him. Um, you say your family is uninterested in the in the people in this town what is it that you do here exactly why is it that you stay in this town and not leave what makes this land so special my ancestor built her home here and this has been the burial ground for my lineage for many, many years since. This is where we are strongest, and uh, this is where your school to be built. Now, perhaps we have strayed from her dream some. She had visions of educating the farmers and ways of magic. Unfortunately, not everybody has a talent for these things. Some more than others. Some more than others. Your... Fuck, I was gonna add one more. Um, I guess you can ask me a question. Uh, if you wanted to ask me about the candle keep, the only thing I would disclose to him is that I had dealings with uh, Ragnarok to see okay. if that would sway him to be to get garner me a little bit more respect yeah no that that definitely uh he definitely takes note of that okay. um i would request more of you than just the to glance at your spell book that you that we discuss to speak on behalf of our cause uh the bus greatly, and in the future, I will believe that it would be beneficial for you as well. You know, he says, I have a feeling that 
with Mog's Keep destroyed. You will find Harriet surprisingly... Uh, well, you will find Harriet to be agreeable to whatever you may have to say. She would not be agreeable with what I have to say. Uh, what are you planning on doing? Nothing foolish, I hope. I don't trust her with any power. And you are going to try and overthrow the most powerful family of this village? Yeah, not by ourselves, obviously. Um, as you say, that would be foolish, but I believe that I would have the support of the... Hold on. Uh, Feldrin family, and if you support us as well, and that is two. If it comes to light that uh, suddenly this blue sigil is destroyed and she turns cheek, and she's been having them attack other caravans, well, then the whole entire town will be against her. When Talk her were, into a corner and get her out of power. When you were at the blue sigil, did you find any proof that she had been paying them? Perhaps signed ledgers or gold? Proof in these matters are not necessary when you have the common folk rebel and riot. Proof goes out the yes. window, as you saw when I was making my case. She had no proof versus me, and suddenly the tides changed. And pushing public opinion against the Gostels and chasing them out of town are very different things. The Gostel family, while it may have backroom dealings, is still the most powerful family in town. And the majority of the common folk have dealings with them that they would not like to give up. You may find it harder than getting a couple of wizards and some bloodthirsty fighters on your side. They wouldn't perhaps like to make the same deals, but with different people? She, the, the house treats the people fairly in their dealings? Not all the time, but... Then a people tend not to look a gift horse in the mouth in these parts. If this is something you wish to do, then I suppose you will have my support. Under one condition. What might that be? You owe me a favor. Tell you what, if it comes down to it and I see an opportunity, I will strike at it. If the opportunity does not present itself, then we will leave it at that and I owe you nothing. Is that uh, agreeable? He agrees. Okay. Uh, there's a matter of your spellbook that you promised to show? Ah, uh, yes. He does not show you the entire thing. <laughs> uh, he shows you a couple spells. Okay. What spells does he show me? He shows you... He shows you a first-level spell... Uh, I request the ability to turn myself invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Pure he, does, he does not share that spell with you. Um, maybe, maybe I'll get it. I hope. Kind of knew you were going to do this. I should have some stuff prepared. Yeah. Invisible salt. Sorry, I swear to God, if he, if he shares charm person with me, I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> punch him in the book. face. I'll, I'll burn his book. Too? God damn it! I already know how to do this one. Do you remember when he said like he'd heard of the sword stages? What if he's like totally bluffing? He's like, "Do you know light? <laughs> uh, do you know minor repair?" He just gives you all the cantrips because he doesn't know how good you are. I don't know minor repair, actually. Oh uh, well, it's I've never seen him used a lot anyway. He shares... Mimic. Uh, Mimic. 
a third level spell with you called Detect Undead. Oh, God damn it. He shares another third level spell with you Mimic. called Corrosive Touch. Ooh. Okay. That will dissolve and burn away and do damage to things that you touch with it. He shares with you another third level spell called Obscuring Mist. It creates a fog that surrounds you. Yep. He shares with you a first level spell called Mage Hand. Soul Hand. Soul Hand. <laughs> Big me Soul Hand. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I maybe he'd give me a book where I can write the stuff down as well, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, for sure. I mean, you have to you have to pick one of these. Oh, he's only not one. He's not giving. Yeah, he's not giving you all of these. He's, okay. He's. Uh, you have to pick one. Okay. He gives you. Um, Okay, he gives you a fifth level spell called Memory Lapse. What's that? Do? Causes somebody to forget events. Uh, oh, fault. <laughs> recent events. Okay. You remember the time we threw rocks at your face? Just kidding. And then the last one that he shows you that you can choose from. Brings me salty hand is just the best. <laughs> salty, salty hand. Brings me salty hand. <laughs> is a third level spell called Cause Fear. So you mean like the third level spells take off my mask? Anyways, um. Oh, this causes a lot more. This causes, yeah. You know, yeah, I know, I know. Um, memory lapse. Cool. That's the one you take. Yeah. Um, I take it and I and I thank him for showing me his book. He says you can come see his book anytime. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I take his book with me. No need. <laughs> I got it. Um. I, I smile uh, towards him. I, I obviously don't have that mask on right now. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on later. And, you know, if, if Harriet asks me to unveil it, I will. Be like, ah, I'm just insecure about my face. Um, but, <laughs> I'm um, really a demon. Ooh. <laughs> um, I thank him and say, uh, that meeting, we you will set it up. Yes, and I believe that they are having a talk now, if you would like to go together. Sure. Do you want to do this as a solo thing later? Just so that we don't eat up. Oh, the time. meeting with the Harper guy? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, the whole group will meet him. Oh, the whole oh, group will meet him? Okay. Yeah, the whole group I will meet him. Sick. I totally do. I feel like it's... Um, I'm going to send people dreams now, since I wrote some. So did you want to do the, the actual meeting? They're not, I mean, more. some of them are more detailed than others, so some of the dreams kind of suck. Some of them are awesome. Did you want to do the meeting with the, the town right now, or, or no? Because no. we, we, we lost we'll a bunch. Hmm? We'll, we'll leave a cliffhanger for that, because that can go a bunch of different directions. Okay. Well, I was just saying, because we lost a bunch of time with the like disconnects, so if you wanted to just run an extra yeah. 30 minutes, we could. Well, I could, at least. Yeah, you could. Are you busy after this? I gotta drive down to Portland. Uh, right now. I, I I gotta do everything around the house first, well, around the property first, and then I gotta go down to Portland. Gotcha. I should shower probably before work. <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's usually good. Yeah. It's probably a good job that I haven't had a webcam for this session because holy shit, I have been just laughing and giggling to myself the entire session, <laughs> just from like small jokes that have been going yeah. on. 
Don't mainly worry. in the chat. Don't worry, in our other session, that's just constant. Like, we we make some jokes while someone's talking, and then we just giggle. Mainly the jokes are at me when I talk, because <laughs> fucking. I was I was like waiting for Dart to just explode in one of his like role plays, like when he's role playing his character. He's like, "You can see my spell." All right, I had enough. No talking and shit. I, th I like thought he was just gonna flip one of these days because we were all giggling. Yeah. Oh, Is I don't give a shit. I'm so used to it. Did that um, apprentice mage come to me with a book? What 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 did he give me for his spell? Oh, we'll do that later. Okay. You don't want to just like skip forth. <laughs> No, because I have to decide the kind of stuff that he's going to offer you. It takes a while. What the fuck, Dart? That's my dream. <laughs> yep. Did you just type it right now? <laughs> no, I, typed, I actually typed it before the session. Fucking. That's my yeah. dream. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up with the stick. The stick the for orcs, I guess. No, love the it, 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 you, you, you picture a landscape, uh, things and flies, and then suddenly a tornado of orcs. Oh, sharknado. <laughs> Orcado. Okay, so, yeah. session. What time are we playing? That's the stick and dart. Usual time. Usual time. Yeah. So like seven ES. Three. Uh, 3 EST, right. What? No! 3 EST! Sorry, no. I'm getting everything mixed up. Oh. Yeah. 